good evening welcome to one more uh, session had you noticed uh, some shift in the last uh, two episodes well let me highlight the connectivity to the covid quarantine has been on the wane missing good sign i hope so but we will retain that the quarantine the reflections the covid diaries all those because there is a origin which started our reflection so what is going to be the topic today did i leave any clue in the last uh, episode well today we are on the 15th episode last 14 episodes what has been happening i was trying to share my thoughts reflections with all of you and i had been using a method so what was that communication so i did leave a clue the last slide so let us keep communicating the last 14 episodes um, the unique feature is we have taken subjects that are complex and need a lot of expansion today is no different to uh, pick up some uh, good, good points i thought i will uh, do some browsing on communication and related topics oh my god the kind of information that uh, just uh, flow in it is uh, phenomenal i i just got lost so i said uh, enough so let me leave it for the researchers to keep writing let me go back to my own way simple way of uh, looking at uh, communication the last 14 uh, episodes had been communicating the uniqueness of that was it was only one way of course a small exceptions of some feedback coming in which also i have not responded so it is uh, not really a conversation but it is a one way communication so today also i am going to use this topic of communication from the point of reference of the individual who is trying to communicate his ideas to other people there are other components of communication uh, we will uh, keep it aside like is it listening etc etc barriers we are not getting into those uh, complexities uh, further we'll keep it uh, very very basic and uh, simple very evident self explanatory it says copy paste control c control v in the computer language but uh, looks very simple no stupidly simple but it is not so even for copy paste we do a lot of things no we select the content we format it it could be words it could be a lecture it could be a picture it could be whatever it is then we think of a medium which i can use to uh, transfer uh, this and keep everything ready and click copy then we search for the space where it has to reach whether the space is available or not whether the person can the adequate uh, memory is there all those items then everything is okay we paste job is complete looking very simple but um, it is not as simple as that we need to look at a lot of things we'll keep only two very basics today and maybe we can elaborate at a later point of time so the first one that i am talking of four items today the first one the communication if i have to share my ideas reflections where does it start from this from my thoughts so there is a thought that has to be communicated 
so that it is understood by the other person so the thought is converted into words normally how do we think in what language do we think mother tongue obviously if you have to communicate in the mother tongue the choice of word will be easy the delivery will be very very uh, quick like basandi tat 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 so it is convenient but if you have to use a different language then there is a space required i have to choose the right word convert them form a sentence so that it reaches the person correctly so there is a difference in the language also this is important one the second one is how do we deliver the words that also has some impact in fact before we go further we talk of four items actually uh, the thought the word that i use the way i deliver and the action that goes with that all the four must be in the same line for a perfect communication thought is yours visible to you only known to you only but what is seen heard by others is the word delivery and the action so what is the impact that all these three creates in the receiver is the point lot of research has been done so you will be surprised some of you may know the statistics there are two schools of thoughts but there is one common in both of them both the school of thought say that impact of the words is only 7% surprising no the second one and third one has a variation because of the mathematical calculations one school of thought says it is only 13% impact through the delivery the other school says 38 that leaves a balance of 80 and 53 which is the major one that means the body is not static especially on a one to one communication even on a remote communication a couple of things come maybe the action is not seen but the intonation the delivery the mode i mean the uh, tone uh, gives away so this is the research table available you can search now the choice of words i have already said so most of the time the choice of words people fumble they say something then there's a controversy then they say no no i did not mean that my choice of word is uh, incorrect so language was uh, a problem i chose the wrong word all those are justification but the means a thought has not gone through before placing the word then how do we deliver that also has an impact will it one of the example that comes to my mind is uh, a scene in uh, pk most of you must have seen uh, amir khan uh, pk how to say acha in different different ways acha 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 so every acha has a different different meaning the word is the same but the message that goes is in a different way then the action i keep gesticulating i i cannot stand like a statue and keep talking to you know so the body moves without you knowing about it the body moves we must be careful of what we show it should be aligned when i say we will together do this task so the normal thing is we will together do this job task but if i say we will together do this job my words are different tone is different my actions are totally different so the convenience of the message is distorted and as i said it is quite natural for uh, the body to move if you actually uh, want to see uh, as a fun uh, what someone uh, giving direction to his friend to come home to his house he'll be on the phone he'll be giving instructions he said come straight there'll be over bridge cross over bridge first circle take a right turn the hand is moving without he knowing about it it's very natural so write your address so my hand is writing as if it is writing so it is important for us to 
look at all these aspects. So number one is thought, word, action, delivery, delivery and action in that order. It should be in the same line. The copy paste happens perfectly. The second one is uh, how the communication should be. It should be very clear. It should be concise. It should be complete and also correct. Quite a number of times I miss all these four. Because the eagerness is there to expand, expand, expand. The conciseness comes down. Clarity. Clarity is by using simple words. Don't use jargons. So big words. So like the ST. You know who is ST. So we don't want to use those kind of a uh, vocabulary. We are not here to impress. We are here to express. This is the important point that we should know. The third one I thought I will touch upon is understanding the audience. Who is the audience? Is he a level above me? Or is it on uh, the same level? Or is it at lower level? How do you communicate? There are differences. If you talk to the senior people and give them detail, they will say, no, no, I are cut it out. Give me the bigger picture. Moti baat bolo. How do we convert all those items in a simple summary and give it? Level, same level, we might expand a little bit. If you have to talk to the lower down people, I have to give a lot of details. I call it as a zoom out and zoom in. You should understand when I should zoom out and I should zoom in. It is important. And it also, there is a time that is available. No? If we have very, very short time to deliver some message, how do we deliver? A 5 minutes speech calls for 1 hour planning. So in a short time, how do we communicate? We call in the sales language, we call it as an elevator pitch. What is that? I got only that much of a time that elevator will take me with the CEO of the company to the 14th floor to his office. Within the time, how do we communicate? So that I make an impact that he says, okay, I will give you more time, fix up a time with my secretary. So that is the power of communication. So there is a lot of thing that goes into the communication. And uh, people also receive in different, different uh, ways. All of us have three important faculties, visual, auditory and uh, touch and base. We call it as a kinesthetic. So we call it as a VAC model, VAK model. It is out of a science which we don't have to get into. It's a complex science. We will not get into that. So visual people use more of visual medium to grasp. Some people use auditory. They want to listen more to grasp. Some people want to touch and feel. Why I am saying is this is important to make an impact. How do we identify these people? The language will give away. The visual person will normally say, I make a mental picture, I see the bigger picture, I made a mental note of it. Everything to do with the visual. The person who is more keen to listen, he will uh, use language. Oh, it rings a bell, the message is loud and clear, tell me. Whether the visual guy will say, show me. So the kinesthetic person will say, so let me have a feel of it, let me handle it. So the language will be, let us touch base, let us sh shake hands on the deal. Everything is to touch and feel kind of a thing. So uh, why I am saying is, it helps to understand. It is very difficult, but after about 5-10 minutes of conversation, we will be able to understand the person is visual or if he is a visual guy, if you keep on talking, you lost it. If he is a listening guy, if you show him only pictures, pictures, you are, you lost it. So you should understand some basic uh, things. The fourth one is uh, planning. Plan, plan, plan. Without planning, do not communicate. It is not going to have any effect. So you must understand in the planning, number one, why am I communicating? What is the purpose? Who is my audience? What is the time available? Where am I meeting? Is it formal or informal? Informal can be loose talks, I mean unstructured. So formal means structured communication. So I have just touched the periphery of communication. I think it has given you some idea. So uh, nothing but what we do on a daily basis, uh, but I have flagged off with certain names. 
when we start communicating you will be aware of these kind of things whether my thought is converted in the right word am i saying the right way my actions are okay and the other four points i have already elaborated so make a note of these items keep trying it consciously maybe you will feel that you are communicating better there are other aspects of communication we will reserve it for other day when we uh, meet uh, in some other occasion not immediately there will be an occasion to meet that so till we meet uh, next time so keep trying communicating with the consciousness of uh, consciousness of all this uh, point that i have uh, highlighted till then bye